Hi everyone, Jen Roke here at StampCampWithJen.com. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Summerfield, Florida. And today I'm going to show you this card that is the most easy, fantastic shaker card you've ever seen. And you're going to think, why has nobody thought of this before? Well, we had, um, Stampin' Up! does a big event for demonstrators called On Stage every year. And in November of this year, they actually had it virtually for the first time because of COVID. And so they had all these stamping demonstrations, which were fantastic. And one of the demonstrators, Rosemary Gonzalez, did this shaker card and we all flipped over it. We thought, how has nobody thought of this before? She did a fantastic job. Um, so this card is actually a case of her card. She used a couple different colors and ribbons, but the layout's all the same. She even used the sentiment and the ice cream cone and everything. So I made this card for my stamp camp class this month and they went nuts over it. And I just think it's so fun, quick and easy. You could do so many different variations with this and you're going to love this. Um, Speaking of being a demonstrator, if you are thinking about becoming a demonstrator and would like to join my team, uh, feel free to reach out to me at stampcampwithjen at gmail.com. I'd love to have you as a demonstrator during my team. And as we all know, celebration is a great time to join. You get five free designer series paper packs as well as $125 worth of product for $99 and it ships to your house for free. So not only do you get a discount on your starter kit, but you get those five packs of paper, which is almost a $60 value for free in your starter kit. And you get to pick out all the products that go in your kit. So if you're thinking about becoming a demonstrator, please reach out to me and I would love to have you on my team. So, all right, so enough of that. Let's get to this shaker card. So this uses the ice cream corner suite. It has this sweet ice cream stamp set. I love all the little scriptiness in here. The font is just gorgeous. Then you have the ice cream and this is part of the, these two are the popsicles and this is the popsicle stick. You have sprinkles, little dot sprinkles and little line sprinkles like I think they're called jimmies. Um, and the little cone here too. It's just so much fun. I love it. And then you have the ice cream builder punch which is the little cone and the ice cream. And the paper, this ice cream corner sweet paper here is just so fun. These are all the different designs. So as you can see, there's a little um, DSP side that you can just punch out for the paper. And then these three actually are like big splotches that you can cut out for your ice cream. So we're going to do that today. So my card, I originally stamped. Um, this is soft sea foam and then the sprinkles are an old olive and then for the cone I stamped um, I use cinnamon cider and I stamped off once to do the the main cone and then for the little uh, cross hatches I just stamped directly on it so I'm not going to do that today for the purpose of time but if you want to do it that way like if you run out of paper um, or you just like the way that looks better that's how you do that one so I have my kit here I always like to cut a little card base. So I have the liner, or sorry, liner. So this is the liner that goes in the card base. Um, I have a piece of pool party that I've already cut down to five and a half and eight by eight and a half and folded in half. All right, so we're gonna take our card liner and all these measurements are on my blog at stampcampwithjen.com. I'll have all the measurements and the complete supply list. So this is actually some whisper white that's left over, but if you need white, um, Stampin' Up! has gone to basic white. So they have all the basic white products and they're actually very close to the whisper white. I would show you on camera, but it really doesn't do it justice. So. Okay, so I have two um, circles here that I cut out of the layering circles dies. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go. So if you're looking at your dies, I think it's this way. I just want to show you in case you want to do it so you can see what size it is. I think it's actually this side. 
So it's, yeah, it's this one. So if you're looking at the dies like this, so your scallops are bigger on the left side and your straight circles are bigger on the bottom right. This is, the white circle is the second one in on the top right corner. And then this is a piece of Blackberry Bliss cardstock. And this is the second one in on the top left corner, if you want the size measurements. So, okay. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to take, we have the You Melt My Heart sentiment, and we're gonna stamp that in Blackberry Bliss. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of stamp it over to the right side because we're gonna put our cone on the left side of the circle. So we want it kind of stamped off center. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and adhere that to the Blackberry Bliss scalloped circle. Just right in the center there, you're gonna have quite a bit around the border and that's okay. Okay. So now we're gonna punch out our ice cream. Like I said, this really quick and easy card, I love it. So we're gonna take our DSP here and just put it in the punch, punch it right out. And then for our ice cream, we're gonna take this paper that's all, got all kinds of different colors and inevitably you're gonna probably punch out the cone over something else, and that's okay if you do that. Or you could cut a piece out if you wanted it to be a certain section and you didn't want to waste it, that's fine too. All right, so we're gonna take, for the top of our cone, I'm just gonna put a little bit of seal there and then put my ice cream on top. And then our ice cream is gonna go off to the side here, so I'm just gonna put a line of seal down the middle and kind of angle it off to the side there. Now, for our sprinkles, what we're going to do is we're just gonna take some liquid glue and we're gonna take little dots and put them about where we want our sprinkles to be. I'm doing five, you could do four, three, however many you wanna do. And then you just need a good old fashioned pair of tweezers and Our sprinkles I love these things they're like little foam pieces basically and then what we'll do is we'll just grab the foam sprinkles with our tweezers oops one at a time preferably and then you just kind of lay them oops there you go you lay them where the glue is you really want to make small little spots of glue so you're not fighting with it too much. There you go. So one at a time. We'll just stick those on there. Like I said, if you don't have the exact colors that I'm using, use what you have. Use what coordinates with the sweet. That's what I had to do. She used, um, Rosemary used um, what did she use? She used Purple Posy as her card base, which is gorgeous, but I just happened to run out of it. And then she used the um, white ribbon with the silver trim as her ribbon and some of the Purple Posy ribbon. And it was gorgeous, but I just didn't have that. So I kind of adapted to what I had and made it my own. All right, so we're gonna put this aside to let it dry a little bit. And now we're gonna bring in our I'm gonna show you how to make the shaker component and this is fantastic. So I have a clear envelope here. These come in a pack of 50 for $6, so very economical. And then I have a piece of the ice cream DSP. So what you wanna do is you wanna slide your DSP in all the way to the edge, uh, your left edge here at the bottom of the envelope and along one side. So you basically wanna put it all the way in and all the way down in your envelope and you'll have the opening to your right here. And then what we're gonna do is for class, I measured out sprinkles because I wanted to make sure I had enough for my stamp camp class. So I measured out 
It's about a quarter, uh, a half a teaspoon of sprinkles is perfect. That's exactly what we used for our cards here. So you're just gonna open the envelope up and then you're gonna put your sprinkles in. Okay. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure our paper's down all the way. And then we're gonna fold it on the back. And what we're gonna do is just fold our envelope closed so it meets up right at the edge of your um, paper there. And then what we wanna do is we wanna take our bone folder and press it down to really crease it and get it in place. So we're gonna take our closure off for the envelope and that's what's gonna seal it in place here. Then what we're gonna do is for our other side here, we're gonna fold that over the paper. And again, we're gonna use our bone folder and close it down. And then we're gonna take some scotch tape and tape that extra part of the envelope down. Okay, just enough so it's not puckering out and it's down flat. And that's it. That is your shaker component. How fantastic is that? All right, so we'll finish decorating it. So I am running out of my Blackberry Bliss ribbon, so I am just gonna come in and tie some pool party, and I think it'll still be gorgeous. I've used a lot of that new Blackberry Bliss striped ribbon, and it is just so pretty. So another thing that we did, and I think I have just a little strip so I can do it. So I took a second um, piece. So my other card, it's reversed. I'm tying, my original card has, um, where did it go? Oh yeah, so my original card I tied Blackberry Bliss around and I put a piece of pool party behind it. Well this is, we're gonna do that opposite here. We're gonna do pool party ribbon and put a piece of Blackberry Bliss in. So you just need a piece that's a couple inches. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie our single, um, it's not really a knot quite yet. So we're just gonna kinda tie once Take your strip of ribbon and put it where your little knot is going to be. And then I'm just going to go ahead and knot it just to make it easier because I don't like fighting with ribbons so much. And there it came loose a little bit. So I'm going to start over. See, ribbon tying is not my forte. I know a lot of people struggle with it. I definitely do quite a bit, but that's okay. So single tie, put your ribbon over. Try to keep it tight as best you can. And then I am going to hopefully get this. There we go. Okay. So now what you can do is you can kind of move this piece around freely and then we're gonna make a bow out of that extra ribbon there. Okay. And you can mess with it as much as you need to. And then you can kind of move it freely because it's not held in one, one specific spot there. So you can kind of wiggle it to the left or the right and then trim the edges as you need to. Okay. And now we're gonna take tear and tape and put it all along the back of our shaker component. And I like to do this after I put, after I tie the ribbon on, just so you can kind of move it around exactly where you need it to be before you put the tear and tape over. Cause I just put the tear and tape right over the ribbon. So it's really not gonna go anywhere after you put the tear and tape in place. Cause it's gonna kind of be stuck in place. Okay. All right, so we're gonna remove the tear and tape backing. See if I have any nails to do this with. I might need my, I like to use the take your pick tool and the little spatula on the back to lift up the backing. That's the easiest way I find. Even if you have nails, sometimes it just doesn't work very well. So we are going to use our spatula tool. I know, I just love this card so much. And these come together so quickly. And like I said, you can do so many different variations and they'll mail a lot easier than like a big bulky shaker card would. 
So we're gonna kind of make this centered here, okay? And now for our little sentiment, we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of it and pop it up and we'll be done. And that's it. That's so easy. And how quick and easy was that? And it's adorable with that little ice cream sweet. All right, guys. Well, I really hope that you have enjoyed this class, um, this well, class, this quick little card today. I love this shaker card so much. I'm gonna be making so many more of them, I know, in the future. Um, and I just think they're so fun. Everybody's gonna love them. So, all right, well, if you need any supplies for this project or any supplies in general, I hope that you'll order them through me in my store. On my blog, I have a little button um, that you can click on that takes you to my Stampin' Up! store on stampinup.com. And I also have a complete supply list on my blog as well that has all of the supplies that you need for this project. Um, if you head over to my YouTube channel or you're watching this from my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you never miss a video. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my blog newsletter, I hope you'll do that as well. And follow me on Facebook and Pinterest. Remember that celebration is a great time to join. And if you're thinking about becoming a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, send me an email at stampcampwithjen at gmail.com and I'd be happy to answer any questions. And I'd love to to be your leader through your Stampin' Up! journey. So, all right guys, well, until next time, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay safe and I'll see you soon, bye.